I love the rain. You know, it could rain every day, and I don't believe I'd get tired of it for years and years and years. I didn't want to live in a neighborhood. I didn't want to live on a block. I didn't want to have neighbors. I'm pretty secluded where I am. I think I live a simple life. I didn't ever buy art as an investment. I bought it because I enjoyed it and I liked it. If you're not willing to part with things and sell things, what difference does it make what it's worth? conscious thing about collecting it's just I enjoy finding things keeps me busy gives me something to do One of the things about being a record collector is you don't really get to see your collection. They just become little slots on a shelf. You know, at least LPs, if you get close enough, you can look at the spines and see what they are. But I am such a visual person, I thought, this is like lame. You know, I spend all this money and time amassing these records and you don't really see them. So I 
came upon the idea to do essentially what is, uh, I guess, an installation, and I thought I would create a record store. I have such a wide interest. I don't like one kind of music. I have a, a varied taste in music, in books, and you know, I think to a certain degree in art as well. So I can't pigeonhole, I can't name it. I like what I like. Seven and a half years later, I'm not completely unpacked. I continue to get new things as well, all the time. I continue to buy things and somehow find places for them. I see something I like, you know, I get the best deal on it. And if it's within my budget, you know, I'll get it. I don't give it a lot of thought, honestly. I uh, bring new things home and, uh, you know, look for a place to put them. Yeah, I like a lot of stuff. The more, the better. It's one thing living in a place, bringing new things home, moving this over a little bit, this over a little bit, making room for things. But when you start with 5,500 square feet of house, it's not an easy task. I'm just gonna look like a bit of a fucking nut When somebody has to come in and deal with <laughs> what I've left behind, you know, I can't imagine what that's going to be like. Just so
think I'm lucky. I think I've been fortunate. I bought what I liked and haven't had to sell things I didn't want to sell. And I, you know, feel really sad for the people who do have to do that. And if the day comes I have to do it, I probably won't.